I don't know whether I told you the story about this one, which we made into a poster, which was one of the pictures done, I'm not sure if the same night I did the taxi, but within, a, I only had about a week or so to do all those pictures in. But that picture, I had gone in the central, at center of, central, not the center, but beyond the boat lake on 59th Street, back far enough, which I can't tell you how far that is at this point so long ago. And I didn't have a tripod with me, and I had a roll of flex, and I had to take my gloves off. It was winter time, it was February, and there was snow on the ground, four couple inches. And I was going to take a conventional picture of Central Park South. That's New York. That's an exciting part of New York. I couldn't hold my hands steady, and they started to move. And I, by, totally by accident, I moved it up and down. And then, because I thought I was going to be so clever, I said, well, what if you made circles? Well, I made circles. And I made X's and all that. But mainly, I did my cover picture. The, uh, I held it tight and saying, I got a good straight picture of Central Park South. But vaguely, I got several uh, versions of the moving and different shutter exposures. And that was the picture. Because I immediately recognized in the ground glass that. The circles were fake and corny, not classic, they were corny. And the X's were corny, but somehow these streaks were the right thing. And they were uh, more exciting, and I knew Brodovich would like them, and I liked them. And not that, I mean, you, it's very hard to go out and say, well, I don't like it, but I hope Brodovich will. It wasn't one of those things. And I don't think he was trying to teach us that. He was trying to teach you to be new and exciting and to go out there and do, and again, as I say, not to be boring. Mm 